I've been miserable. Oh, poor you. Truly. Rough semester? You don't even know. Do I want to know? Yeah. Is it chemistry? No. Well, yes, partly. And partly everything else. Aren't you dramatic? I'm a pessimist. Which means you're always right. Usually, but not this time. So are you going to tell me about it? I thought you'd never ask. It all started a few weeks back, on a bright and sunny December afternoon. Bright and sunny? Don't those two mean the same thing? Can I tell my story? I'm sorry. Proceed. Right. It was a bright and sunny December afternoon, and I was walking home to meet this girl from my chem class. Oh, so this is about a girl? Yes. Her name is Haley Parker, and she was my designated lab partner in Chem 101. The truth is, she had a face out of a movie, and we were assigned on a group project together to determine the concentration of acidic acid and stock vinegar. Lucky you. Yeah, so I thought I would make a move when she came over to my house to work on the project. So after our last class before finals and the date the project was due, I went home to get ready to have her over, you know, clean the house, iron my shirt, vacuum, took a quick shower, did my hair, brushed my teeth, the whole deal. I even lit a candle to get the mood going. Everything was ready, everything was set, and at 3 o'clock sharp, I heard the doorbell and I opened the door and... Hey, Daniel! Remember when I said that I'm by nature a pessimist? Well, this is why. It's because of things like these. Uh, Alex, uh, w what are you doing here? Haley told me to drop by. She said y'all still needed some help on the project. Hell no, we don't need some help on the project. You've done your part. Let us do ours. Uh, can I come in? Uh, uh, yeah, man. Uh, come in. Mind if I take off my shoes? Uh, it's just habit. So how are you? I'm I'm good. 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 Yeah. Uh. Oh, what about you? Oh, I'm good, yeah. I'm good. 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 I... Uh, could I, uh, get you anything? Oh, H Haley told me you said you had an espresso machine? Oh, no. He better not ask for... You think you can make me one? You son of a... Very good. It's a little too sweet for my taste. But, as my grandma would always say, even a bad cup of coffee is better than no coffee at all. You mother f- Haley, come save me, my love. Daniel! Haley! So good to see you. Haley! Alex, glad you could make it. Glad to have been invited. Uh, could I get you some coffee, Haley? Sure, why not? Wow, this is really good. Really? Not too sweet? Not at all. Damn right. What's it called? What? The coffee. Oh, it's a Bruno's Brew. Bruno's Brew? Yeah. Gonna write that one down. <laughs> cool pen. Thanks. So, how was your semester? Terrible. It was good, good, you know? Took some interesting courses, great professors. Good. Yeah. Uh, what about you? Terrible, if I'm being honest. Took some difficult classes, was definitely overwhelmed at times, so pretty rough. But technically still on track, you know? Technically. <laughs> yeah, technically. Oh, fuck. Alex, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just the coffee, like, I was holding it, and it just slipped out of my hand, you know what I'm saying? 
And it wasn't even hot, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Daniel, I I'm sorry, man. It's okay, man. Accidents happen. Like you. I'm just glad I didn't get any on the couch, you know what I'm saying? Say you know what I'm saying one more time, mother- Daniel, you can't clean that with your hands. Do you have a dustpan we can use? I, I don't think so. Bro, you don't have a dustpan? No, I don't have a dustpan. Hey, it's okay. I'll go get one from my house. I live close by. Plus, I forgot to bring my notes. Uh, I'll come with you. Oh, hell no. No, you guys should get started on what we've left of the project. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Don't worry. Well, maybe if we look for a little longer. Really? It's fine. I'll be right back, okay? It was really good. The coffee. It's too bad it slipped out of my hand, you know? Yeah, I know. It really does taste better than the regular kind. I, I know there's different ways of making them. Like, how would you rank them? Rank? Like the different types of coffee. You mean the different methods? It, yeah, I, I guess. I mean, well, there are many different methods, but if I had to rank a few of them, I'd definitely say instant down here. And drip, cold brew, espresso, and pour over. It's cool. Yeah. You, you couldn't just do it right, like right here. You had to. It's for emphasis. Right. Well, I just gotta say, I'm so happy to be here in your house to work on the project together. I mean, it really is a beautiful house. Thank you. I mean, even though I wasn't invited at first, I'm just glad to be here, you know, to help. Yeah, and I'm glad you're here too, to help. And I hope you don't take offense to not being invited at first. It's just that you had done such a great job on the project already that I didn't want to bother you anymore. No, <laughs> you're too kind. So, um, how long have you known Haley for now? Probably about as long as you have. Is there a reason you ask? Look, man, I don't want you to get the wrong idea here. I'm not after Haley. Sure, she's pretty, smart, funny, all that. But frankly, she's really not my type, you know what I'm saying? I just came here to work on the project and share a good time. I assure you, you have nothing to be worried about. You know, that's actually really funny because I'm not interested in Haley either. Oh, really? Yeah, really. That is really funny. <laughs> yeah, I actually thought it was you that was interested in her, and I was just trying to let you know that it wasn't the case at all for me. Oh, well, what a funny misunderstanding. You see, that's why I like to talk about things, like the way we are now. Communication. You follow? Communication. It's everything, you know? You internalize your thoughts, you keep things to yourself. Sooner or later, this shit's gonna hit the fan, and you're gonna have nowhere to run. You understand? Yeah, totally. You see, that's why I communicate. I bring up the problem before it arises and grows out of control. It's the way to do it. You really are an arrogant prick, huh? Excuse me? Oh, sorry. Did I say that out loud? I got it! How bad is it? It's... it's bad. What, what should we do, dude? We'll take you to the hospital. Okay. My boyfriend's dad is a doctor. Do you want me to call? Your what? My boyfriend... Oh... Damn. Yeah. So what did he do? Well, we took him to the hospital. Her boyfriend's dad saw him and... I haven't spoken to her since. It couldn't have gone worse. It could have gone worse. I should have known from the beginning. How could you? A total tragedy. A minor setback. You're really positive today, aren't you? It's December, and the sun is out. You know, it's been a really shitty year, I'll tell you that. But still, I, I think that 
technically, we're still on track. Technically. Come on, we're gonna be late. 